You know what they say, with the blinking of an eye, anything could happen. And that's what happened. 27-year-old Alex Correas knows that firsthand from an encounter four days ago, preserved on surveillance video that he finally had the courage to watch. Once I saw what happened, I was like, wow, that was me right there. Like, it literally right there, it hit me. And he was walking his dogs on a concrete path. Correas collapsed, falling face first on the concrete, but he has no memory of it. I started first feeling a little conscious when I was in the helicopter, actually, but my first thing that came into my mind and I asked is where my dog's at. The dog's unharmed, Correa's unconscious. What the video also shows is the people who responded, performing CPR before paramedics arrived, and that overwhelms him. It's crazy, man, how people actually out there that would help you and want to help out and make sure, no, we got to do something, not just stand there. For that, he is grateful, and he's also grateful his kids, as he calls them, Sophie, Honey, and Hazel, are safe. He was reunited with them Sunday after he was released from the hospital. He still has bandages and bruises from his treatment, his eyes still swollen from the fall he took, and yet he's here to tell the tale of being that person struck by lightning. The way I got hit, the way it traveled through my body, they, they did say I'm lucky to be alive, and I have a story to tell, and... I'm here sitting down and telling it. Deborah Rickley, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Incredible story, and you can see more from that exclusive interview tomorrow on Good Morning America, beginning at 7.